this is the amazing Animoog software from Moog Music, running on iPod Touch. If you haven't got this software running on your iOS device, you're really missing out, because this is awesome. Once you add a MIDI interface to the iPod, it becomes a truly wicked machine. The Animoke software makes great use of the iPod Touch. Unfortunately, my fingers are really big, and sometimes it's quite hard to select the different uh, panels here, which have different controls on them. And those controls, you, know, you have to play around, and it's hard to do both at the same time sometimes. So, having got a MIDI interface, The Animoog software has many controls. When used with a MIDI interface, these controls can be assigned to different MIDI channel control channels. By building a simple Arduino microcontroller-based MIDI controller, I am able to have lots of knobs and basically assign every knob, each knob, to one of the controls on the Animoog software. This allows me to make changes in real time very easily. I don't have to select different tabs, I'll just turn the knob. The basic MIDI controller was built using a Mint Duino kit as the starting point. This provided the microprocessor, the crystal, some capacitors, a voltage regulator, and a few other pieces. All the other variable resistors and knobs, joystick and switches, etc., I went bought from my local Radio Shack. The metalwork box was made using aluminium sh sheet purchased from Home Depot, it's as is the wooden case that sits in. By driving the MIDI controller from a sequencer, playing just basically a simple pattern at the moment, I can demonstrate how I can use the real 
Uh, I can demonstrate how I can use the controls in real time. The nice thing about this Arduino microcontroller is it's very easy to use. Basically anybody can make this MIDI controller. On my website I've put up how to make the MIDI controller. I have the circuit diagrams, some diagrams of how I made the metal work, the software, all for free. So anybody can make this a minimal, a starting point of the cost less than a video game. This is an Arduino Uno which I used to make a different project. Um, I used this to make a MIDI guitar. Using the hardware out of the Arduino Uno, I used it, I made this MIDI guitar. Basically it is just a simple the Arduino microcontroller, ten switches and a joystick. A piece of strip board was used to mount the components in the plastic box and an old disk drive ribbon cable was used and cut up to make the wiring mostly. Um, it's nice and flexible. So basically the contents of this um, also has maybe a 5 volt regulator, a battery clip, everything I, apart from the 5 pin DIN socket I believe was purchased from uh, Radio Shack except the piece of wood that came from Home Depot. This is the inside of the MIDI controller. On this board here is an Arduino microcontroller. This is an eight-way analog multiplexer, as is this one, this one, and this one. This allows just four analog inputs to the Arduino microcontroller to read 32 control voltages. On this panel are 12 of these variable resistors one, the wi one ends at 5 volts, one ends at 0, and the wiper goes to the multiplexer. Very simple circuit. Because the Animoog has lots of controls, 
There are lots of controls in this box. The Animoq software running on iPod Touch and com with a MIDI interface and a homemade MIDI controller which has all the controls of the iPod of the Animoq software available is burning hell good. It isn't just wicked, it really is burning hell good. Unfortunately, now this video is not about me playing some amazing piece on the of music. It's about how to uh, demonstrate. This video is not about me making some. This video is not me. This video is not me. This video is not about me trying to demonstrate some amazing piece of music. What I'm trying to do here is demonstrate that with a s simple start and some patience, you can make some absolutely amazing things with a components bought from Radio Shack, such as the Arduino, the knobs, the joystick, LEDs, switches. You can use all regular style. This unit is one of the prototypes that I started with before I made the current MIDI controller. As you can see, it's using regular potentiometers as variable resistors with a wired up with strip board. And so the strip board contains, you can see, contains three eight way multiplexers. Another strip board contains a microcontroller and some voltage regulator, etc. <laughs> As you can see, I'm using a Moog Little Fatty as my keyboard controller. So the Moog Little Fatty's MIDI controls are being sent through my MIDI control panel into the iPod running the Animoog software. The Animoog is being used to augment my Little Fatty sound. <laughs> on its own. This is all Animoog. And this is both of them. So I change to a, a different sound. Thank you. 